Hello everyone, uh, John Wayne here and today we will solve Ackerman problem, mathematical problem, whatever, function. This is Ackerman, you can see he's super hot, let's move on. So remember him, so you can remember the function. Okay, so you will get something like this in your test. Uh, use the definition of the Ackermann function to find a uh, one tree. So here is a one tree, and maybe I don't know. You will get this, and you may be wondering what the fuck is this but yeah bear with me and you'll find out so you will get this in your test you can like ignore it because you probably don't understand any of this shit otherwise you will be looking at this video but so ignore this and look at it this way so see you have a m n which is so basically these are a set of rules like we have one two three and those are the rules that you have to follow to find this using Ackermann's function this guy and yeah so you have to remember these rules or write them down I don't know whatever you want so yeah and let's solve our problem. So as I said, use the definition of uh, definition of the Ackermann function to find a tree. Okay, so you have m n, and m is one and n is three. So you go here and you look at the rules and you see that. Rule number three is if m is not equal to zero and n is not equal to zero, then you subtract one from m and n. Okay, so it should look like I put a three, so now we're using three, so it should look like a subtract one minus one, zero, and then we can use this this one to here and we get one two because we subtract one from the tree and that's it now you take this you just place it down here now you start again with a one two again we're gonna use number three and it's gonna be a zero comma a I'm gonna put this here and subtract one you see one from the end and we're gonna get one one okay so now you take this over here you get one one <laughs> again we're gonna use rule number three We get a zero and a one zero again because we subtract n. Hope it's clear. And then 
Again, we take this down and we start from this and zero. But now it's different rule. It's rule number two because n is zero. You see here n is a zero. So what you do is we put two and we go a zero one. Why one? Because you see here it's you subtract from the m and you put one here in the end. Okay, so now we go from this and this is one rule number one and if it m is zero and n is something but m is zero so we what we do is we add n plus one so we go one plus one equals two now we take this number two and we put it in this a but not this small a but this a like everything and what we get is a zero two and we use rule number one again now what we get is two plus one because we go n plus one and we get three now we take number three and we place it here again not in the small a not in this one but in this one so we get a zero or was it three okay. three and then we use rule number one again and we get three plus one equals four and then you take four placed over here again and we get a zero this rule again didn't notice and we get five and that's it five is the solution to this problem so a one three is five that's it thanks for watching Frano.